7 Commanders, I'm Tyron. With the arrival of the Thargoid Maelstrom, we once again see Guardian module degradation like that of the Proteus Wave. In a previous video, I tested the impact of the Proteus Wave on Guardian modules and weapons. Links to the previous video and timestamps for this one can be found in this video's description down below. A quick recap. The original test found the Proteus Wave imparts damage to all Guardian weapons, Salvation or otherwise, the FSD boosters, along with the shield and module reinforcements at a rate of 1% of their integrity for every second of exposure. Further, the Wave imparts damage to the Guardian power plants and distributors at a rate of 1% of their respective integrity for every 10 seconds of exposure, but degradation stops at 19%. Finally, Guardian hull reinforcements were not impacted by the Proteus wave. Observation Similar to the Proteus wave, Commander observations in systems containing Thargoid Maelstroms show a similar Guardian module degradation. This makes many commanders question. When considering Guardian weapons and modules, are there similarities between the impacts of the Proteus Wave and those of the Thargoid Maelstrom? In an effort to answer this question, a simple guess can be applied, as both the Wave and the Maelstrom are of Thargoid origin, both would have similar destructive powers. Thanks to my previous work, we're going to test this guess with a simple experiment. This experiment will have a control and two treatments. The control will be that the Guardian items do not degrade under normal conditions. The first treatment will be the impacts of the Proteus wave as stipulated earlier. The second treatment will be that of the new Thargoid maelstroms that I will discuss in a test. As with the Proteus wave test, I've outfitted my Cicada's weapons with a Guardian plasma charger, shard cannon, and salvation gauss cannon. Additionally, this Cicada's core internals were equipped with a Guardian power plant and distributor. The Cicada's optional internals were fitted with a Guardian hull, module, and shield reinforcement along with a Guardian FSD booster. This test build can be found in the description down below. The basic idea is that I will jump this Cicada into the Maelstrom affected system and watch how my modules degrade. When entering the system, we see that some of the Guardian modules degrade at differing rates, equal to that of my previous video on the Proteus Wave. The Guardian weapons, salvation or otherwise, degrade at 1% of their integrity per second. Further, the Guardian module and shield reinforcements, along with the FSD booster, degrade at the same rate. Likewise, the Guardian power plant and distributor equally degrade at 1% of their respective integrity for every 10 seconds. And the Guardian hull reinforcement was not impacted by the Maelstrom's effects. After about 100 seconds of exposure, all of the Guardian weapons, the FSD booster, and the module and shield reinforcements degrade to 0% of their integrity, rendering them inoperable. 
The Guardian module and power distributor are still operating at 90% of their integrity, but are dwindling down at a rate of 1% for every 10 seconds. And the Guardian Hall reinforcement is still perfectly functioning. After 810 seconds, or 13 and a half minutes, module degradation stops. The Guardian power plant and distributor barely function with only 19% of their total integrity left, but will not degrade any further. And, as with the Proteus Wave, the Guardian Hall did not degrade. Analysis It seems like the simple guess was correct this time. The impacts of the Proteus Wave and the Thargoid Maelstrom are identical. Ergo, Treatment 1 matches the result of Treatment 2, and both are different from the control. Conclusion This experiment shows the Maelstrom imparts damage to all Guardian weapons, salvation or otherwise. The FSD boosters, along with the shield and module reinforcements at a rate of 1% of their integrity per second. The Maelstrom imparts damage on the Guardian power plants and distributors at a rate of 1% of their respective integrity for every 10 seconds, but degradation stops at 19%. Finally, the Guardian hull reinforcement saw no damage, and this makes me wonder. Are we beyond coincidence? What truly happened during the Thargoid Guardian War? Did the Guardian AI really go rogue? Or did the Thargoid's technology bury them in the dirt and leave them for dead? Only time will tell, Commanders. That's it for this video. Keep thinking. I'm Tyron, and I'll catch you in the black.